man. All right, so we are going to get Frozen versus Nixie right now. Palutena versus Captain Three, Falcon. Two, so a lot of what we saw, you know, in that uh, one game that Mateo played Palutena, we can probably start to see a lot of here. You know, I can definitely see why this matchup would be frustrating for Palutena because, you know, at the, the space she has to commit against Captain Falcon, oh. she risks getting hit by that. <laughs> Charged it up, and he knew Frozen was going to air dodge. But uh, as you don't see different from Mateo, Frozen's a lot more patient on like and selective when he takes his hits on Falcon. He's waiting for Nick to overcommit and then get pu punished for it. Ooh, oh. Okay, that dash attack is going to go punish. It's going to go straight for the back throw for the safe positioning. And that is a dead Captain Falcon. That is fantastic use of the auto reticle right there, forcing uh, you know, Nixie to recover high. So Frozen getting himself on the board early here. Yeah, and he was just down previously and just managed to bring it back. That's the power of Palutena right there. The goddess that we all know and love. Yeah, no, absolutely. She's got such a great, uh, you know, comeback game because her kit is so simple. And, you know, those multi-hits off stage can be super duper deadly if they catch your recovery. Like that. Oh, my. Look at that. Coopster Domus still got it, baby. The, yep. uh, the lingering hit of the neutral air trading with Captain Falcon's up B and uh, destroying his recovery. And the use of the up to we've seen a lot more moves that we don't conventionally see from Paolo. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a, a an underused move for sure, as Nick trying to get the stock off right now, but Frozen doing a great job playing keep away. No oh, way, yeah. bro! Oh my god! No way. <laughs> he, said, he said go back. <laughs> that was, let me take a sip of this. Not alcohol. It's water. Yeah, that's... Relax. It's water. That's the final. I asked for a Moscow Mule and they gave me the completely wrong drink. Right now. <laughs> I just want to throw that out there. I'm like, can I get a Moscow Mule? He's like, all right, bet. I'm like, this is gin, but, you know, we'll take it. So a three stock out the gate for Frozen in his best of five. Let's see what the response three, from Nick C is going to be. Because, again, like, it's one of those cases where, you know, whoever gets to, to play the game on their terms wins. It's a Mario Party match, like yeah. you were saying. Like, when Falcon's able to get his hands on Palutena, you know, Nick has calculated his combos enough times to know that something's going to work. Oh, um, the use of jab. That was broken. He's dead. No. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a strange scrum in the corner right there. Yeah. But, you know, what we will come away with is Nick C uh, already in triple digits. Frozen barely scathed. Yeah, and Frozen calling out these jumps and taking it right there with the up air. But Frozen's doing a lot more jump call outs in this game. And whenever Nick tries to short hop at him and do an aerial, Frozen just knows to Nair and call, call him out because Nair is such a good tool to just anti-air with. There you go, the forward air to the dash attack. Going to be good damage once again on the part of Frozen. So Nick, again, just trying to get something generated, but Frozen doing such a great job weaving in and out of these uh, of the range that Nick wants to play at. Especially on landing. Like, he's been doing a really good job. Just picking the right option on, uh, you know, whatever Nick decides to swing on his way down. Yeah. He knows, he's noticing Nick keeps drifting in on him and not trying to go for ledge into, like, reset disadvantage. And he just keeps doing aggressive offense. Throws him, making him pay for it. And now Nick's back on stage. Oh, but makes it back. Yeah, Frozen did a good job mixing up his recovery right there. Not uh, directly recovering to the stage immediately. Um... Nice using the auto reticle right there. That's not something you see a lot of Palutena's do, but, you know, Frozen yeah. making a good mix-up out of it. All these jabs. Wow. Once again, Frozen refusing to say die. Nixie just desperately trying to get the stock off. Neutral Air will win that war uh, against Falcon's Neutral Air. Okay. Gonna lift the punish right there. Yeah. Both of them just missing. See him. Yeah, but Nair taking it right there from Nixie. Even up the stocks, but not the percent. Yeah. yeah. Just like that, Frozen wasting no time erasing that stock. Something you don't want to do against Captain Falcon is let him hang around too long. Because uh, then, you know, you can see some, some freaky stuff happen. But uh, Frozen wasting no time erasing that stock. But Nixie refusing to say die as he's continuing uh, you know, his, uh, his onslaught right here to try to get back in this game. Yeah. Okay, Falcon. Just tr Nick trying to just cover the jump from ledge. Oh, that dare just sends him <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, if that move's not spiking you, it is sending you at a very strange sideways angle. Okay. Oh, I didn't even know he got around him. 
Oh, wow. And even stocks, man. Yeah, not exactly sure if uh, if Rosa recovered above the ledge right there, but that is what it looked like to me. Yeah, maybe maybe he's nicked up just that good. Yeah, I mean, Falcon's down tilt does send you at the impossible angle, yeah. so anything is, is truly possible. Indeed. All right, so Frozen's trying to space out with back is trying to just make a wall so Nick can't join, and Nick ran into the wall, and Frozen's trying to get his combos right now. There you go, back air will catch that trade once again. Yeah, it's definitely that the Buzz Dark Wizzy video where he just back airs a bunch of times. I mean, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Like, Palatina's back air is absolutely borked. Nice recovery there from Nick. Just kind of mix up his uh, timing on the ledge. Yeah. Oh, he didn't charge it for long enough. He did have the air dodge. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, oh my oh, God. No way. He's a monster. Nick C with ice in his veins. And Mrs. J Falcon in the audience uh, <laughs> putting on a show for sure in that second game. He's definitely proud of him. <laughs> She's coaching. <laughs> Yo, give him a he head pat. I'm good, man. No, yeah, but, this is Jay Falcon. Regardless, though, that was a great uh, comeback there from Nixie. And that's just the beauty of Falcon, man. Would, would you give, or, you know, the, the ugliness of Falcon, like, yeah. depending on what side you're on of, of the coin there. But, you know, this character just has such gnarly comeback potential because things like that can happen. If you're not, you know, on your P's and Q's uh, all the time, you can find yourself in a vortex where you're just going to get up smashed at 80 on a platform and die. So... It's definitely not a fun time. And now we're in game three, 1-1. One, one. And back to Pokemon Stadium 2. I don't think we're getting off the stage, Koopa. No, I don't see why not. I think the stage is good for both these characters, so. They're missing the bear right there, but still keeping Nick at the corner. They're getting nice mix up on the, on the uh, you know, off stage right there from Nick to avoid just immediately going to the ledge. Uh, at least mixing up his timing slightly. And again, another good recovery to get around the neutral air. Like, yeah, that is where this matchup is rough for Captain Falcon against Palu. Like, that neutral air just kind of eviscerates uh, his recovery. Oh my god! Nick is so smart. It is winter, the Tims are out, and that is uh, a dead Palutena. So, great start right there from Nick C. Okay. Oh, but there we go. Great catch with the explosive flame. So, that will be an even. Uh, you will have ourselves an even game here. Yeah. Okay. Back here trying to snuffing out the teleport cancel. Knowing down a lot of Palutena's like to do it, but that dash attack just lingered for like a day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, here's my shield. You like it? <laughs> By the way, it's still here. All right, both players just kind of taking a reset of neutral right now. Great call on the jump right there uh, from Frozen. They can good use of the explosive flame also. And again, the up tilt, using it as an anti-air because he knows Nick likes to jump on, in on him. There you go, neutral air. Not going to get to hit one, but still going to uh, at least buy himself some time as Nick. All right, the dash attack puts him back. Uh-oh. Okay, missing the there. That's a no good job for Frozen for not denying in to get hit by that extension. Okay. Oh. oh, wow, what a great reversal right there yeah. from Frozen. It looks like Nick was starting to catch on these kind of parallel to the stage recoveries from Palutena, but uh, Frozen immediately uh, turning the match in his favor with that back air. Oh, tried to up the auto shield, but the shield, his actual Palutena shield just blocked it. Back air, who's going to buy Nick some... Uh, you know, room two ledge trap here, but Frozen is going to skip that portion of the game and teleport back to the middle of the stage. Try right, run off. Missing the Nair. And Nick just wow. giving for a while. But Nick giving Frozen a lot of room from ledge. So, And he's just saying, yo, you can get up, but you're not getting out of this, like, past this platform. With, with that yeah, putting himself just at the perfect length for neutral air would connect right there. So, Let's see what the answer is going to be from both players. There you go, Nixie once again. Get it by some, some time. Going for something uh, super crazy right there at the Falcon Kick. Again, it looks like he's starting to sniff on that Frozen is, is jumping parallel to the stage and then recovering. Yeah. So maybe that was just an attempt to kind of call him out, but Frozen did a good job mixing up his own recoveries. Oh, there it is. Oh! Does not even need the nipple spike. Gets the nipple backwards uh, kill confirmed. So. Yeah, that is crazy. Yeah, he is. 
Again, after getting erased <laughs> that <laughs> first game, uh, he has since woken up and he's like, okay, I think I'll be all right. So two straight wins here from Nick C. Let us see what the response will be uh, from Frozen. Yeah, and it seems like we might get a stage. Oh, never mind. I'm lying. Back to the same stage. <laughs> yeah, everybody's boring here. You know, he's he's rock listen, Pokemon just came out. Yeah, Frozen's dude. rocking the Pokemon tag in his in his uh in his controls right now. Shout out to Snom. Beautiful Pokemon. I don't even know what Pokemon it is. An, it is an ice bug silkworm. Oh, that's which one? It is adorable. Okay, no, I know which one. Yeah, I don't know how it looks. I never know I don't know any yeah, of it. It is it is Snom. That is that he is the boy, for sure. All right, so let's see if uh, what the response here will be from Frozen, or will Nick C move on further in winner's bracket? Okay, and we're seeing a lot more run-up shields from Nick now, because he's baiting Frozen to, like, jump in at him. Because Frozen was liking to run up, to wait for Nick to run in, and just dare him. There oh. you go. Once again, getting the last hits of those neutral layers, but not quick enough to get the uh, follow-up further than that. Falcon Kick starting to become a little bit more of a factor here. It looks like Nick is starting to find this, the right situations in which to use it. Yeah, but he has not hit any of those uppies out of shield. So great spacing for Frozen, just knowing that Nick does like doing that and just spacing himself around it. Yeah, I can see why he would opt to do that because, you know, Pal if Palutena whiffs on there, uh, she's already close enough in uh, Falcon's wheelhouse and that won't work. Uh, but again, you also leave yourself wide open if you miss on that. Yeah. They're going to connect and kill from the bottom of the ledge. Yeah, nice. So excellent stuff there from Frozen as he gets himself up one game here. Or one stop, excuse me. Hit for it. Oh, tried to read the roll right there, but still manages not to get punished for it. Now they're both off stage. Yep, stopped in their cover back to the ledge. Ooh, once again, Frozen did a good job not uh, you know, getting too... Uh, fancy with his recoveries. Nixie continuing to press though. Okay, down tilt, pushing him off. Oh, and barely missing that edge guard right there. Alright, okay, down tilt. If he connects down tilt near the ledge, that is most definitely gonna kill. And okay. dash attack will get the job done, so once again, the equalizer coming up for Nixie. Yeah, knowing that it was gonna kill at the percent, he didn't throw it out much previously. Oh, going, wow. past, going past ledge to get the free grab. Yeah, excellent use to the Falcon dive right there for sure. And there you go. Great call out on the high recovery there from Frozen. There you go. Landing there. Yep. Lose by Frozen some time. Breaking Nick's momentum. Back air once again. That lady dash attack looks like it could have set up into something, but... Uh, yeah. Frozen just not at a low enough percent where that would have uh, comboed into him. Yeah, I also don't think he was aware that he would like get the hit. He was probably just throwing it out and then it was like, uh, maybe I'll get the hit or not. Make sure once again he'll connect. And he's falling out there. Nothing out the incoming. Right, once again, Frozen recovers back to the ledge. Let's see what the answer is going to be for Nixie. The down tilt yeah. will end that sock right there. Now we're in a similar situation as that game two uh, player four, where you know Frozen still, uh, found himself up sizably, but again, that gnarly comeback factor of Falcon is something you can never sleep on. Yeah, and before he Nick did come back game one, I believe two, with like a crazy combo. Oh, almost getting there right there. And Frozen spacing out with bears and bears. Uh oh. Using his good great aerial frame data. And you can't stand on the ledge right there against Falcon. Nick likes to run W across. Ooh, that explosive flame. Uh, you know, we're potentially a little bit too close for comfort right there for Frozen. Back air will at least buy him some time again. Ooh, that last hit of neutral air and the back yeah. will set up into the back throw. And we're going to see a game five player for him. Yeah. You can say that again, Palutena. We're going to see a, uh, a game five between these two combatants. All right. All five games. Pokemon Stadium 2. Sword and Shield. <laughs> Great game, by the way. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. I am a huge, uh, huge fan. Three, two, one, go! 
All right, so let's see who will come out on top in this game five. And just like that, the Nair train into the back air. Yeah. That's big damage. Yeah, 64% pushing him off stage into the corner and on going 70%. And now it's... Oh, man. We usually actually see Nixie convert off these. So it's really surprising for him to drop those. Yeah, you definitely got to, like, take those low percent combos where you can get them. Uh, so def a little uncharacteristic to see Nixie drop that right there. But does that matter? He use the pressure string. That girl connect again. You see Nixie going off deep. All right, there. And again, another Nair from Ledge. For the down throw, Rar Bear you know, would connect under normal circumstances, but Frozen is not in a position uh, you know, to get that follow up. Yeah. And good job for Nixie to be aware not to fall into that up tilt. Because he's. Oh, yeah, it's great up the up shift. But yeah, he's been landing on top of Frozen a lot. And Frozen's been using falling up air and fall up tilt just to snuff them out. I do like that Frozen is. is um, you know, trying to incorporate more of those uh, explosive flames into his uh, set play here. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Bear that dash attack, but Falcon Kick does to get all disadvantage. Ooh, okay. Last hit of neutral air will connect. Not going to get a follow up, and the weak hit and knee, uh, you know, will unfortunately keep the stock alive for Frozen. That definitely would have resulted in a kill if he got that. Wow. You got some uncharacteristic misses from Nick, but I'm not sure if just the percent windows are closed or if that's just a good DI from Frozen. Uh, it might, might be a bit of both. Oh, down tilt. Just taking Down tilt has been a really, really good option for Nick um, in, in this set. This looks like Falcon's just swiping out of the legs. <laughs> <laughs> you ever been kicked in the shins, man? It hurts. Yo, definitely just took her out. <laughs> Uh -oh. oh, just almost got the knee right there. And that definitely would have re resulted in the win for Nick C, but Frozen getting a second chance of life here. Yeah, but he has to close out the stock. Ooh, okay, got the air dodge read, but just not in a position uh, to get a stronger follow-up out of it. Throw an arrow again. Dock and kick to at least break through into the center stage. Frozen has to be careful here. Yeah. All right, rolls in, knowing yeah. that Nixie was probably fishing, or the Frozen was fishing for the grab right there at that higher percent. Oh. I like the fact that they're doing the reverse. I'm still trying to call out each other's rolls, but... Yeah. There we go. So that will be the, uh, the equalizer there for Frozen, but having a lot of ground to make up. But Palutena, not a character uh, you know, that can't rack up damage really, really quickly. Yeah, and right there, it's caught him with, with a neutral air. I'm just putting him in disadvantage. Ooh, ooh oh. that could be it, but getting the back air. Yeah. Well, at least by Frozen, a second chance of life here. Yeah, that pushed him on cross stage. And Frozen rolling off the ledge. That's some of the best ideas with Nick trying to scout that. Okay, ooh. there. I'll be out of show, not taking it right there. Not enough, but Frozen definitely has to be on alert here. Any longer, that will uh, potentially be bad. Yeah. There you go, the knee. We'll see Palutena out, and goodbye, <laughs> sir. Straight to the loser's bracket with you, says Nick C. is frozen. Uh, we'll drop that game five. Yeah, man, that was a great set. That really was.